It's the night before your digital SAT exam. One mistake now in months of prep could go to waste. So here are six things you have to do tonight to avoid disaster and hit your target score. Number one is to drink water. You've heard it before, but seriously, hydration is not optional. Okay, your brain is literally 75% water and even slight dehydration can tank your focus, slow your reaction time, make you foggy during your test. All right, next you're gonna to want to review your past mistakes. Now is not the time to learn new content, but instead you wanna go through your old practice tests and review the questions you got wrong especially the ones that you almost got right because these are your low hanging points. Seeing those patterns one more time will make your brain faster at spotting traps and avoiding them tomorrow. All right, after that, you're gonna to wanna to spend 10 minutes making a concept or formula dump. Grab a blank piece of paper and write down every formula, rule, or quick tip you want to remember. Even just writing them down will help them lock them inside your brain and ensure that you remember them on test day. The fourth thing is super important, which is to brush up on grammar rules. I don't care if you are a grammar expert, don't take the risk of potentially blanking on two to three grammar questions, which should be easy points and end up tanking your SAT English score. So take 15 minutes to review the things like comma rules, subject verb agreement, transitions, etc. These are quick wins that add up fast and can push you up a score bracket since you won't be making silly mistakes. And right before you go to sleep, make sure you test out the Blue Book app and your technology. Okay, so open Blue Book, check your login, make sure everything is running smoothly. Tech issues have caused students to miss the test or even get their scores invalidated, so don't let that happen to you. Finally, for a 100 point boost on your SAT, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss our future content. That's all. Best of luck on your exam.